He was an all-star, a veteran of 19 years, one of the highest scoring wingers in NHL history, with a Hall of Fame career in his rearview mirror. There was nothing left for him to accomplish on a sheet of ice, except one thing. Meanwhile, 1,200 miles away, a young hockey team was enduring growing pains. Ownerships were in transition, our franchise was toiling with mediocrity, but a new core of players had begun to emerge. We were raw and searching for an identity. We knew we had talent and skill. We just needed a rudder. We needed a captain. When Dave Enerchuk came to Tampa Bay, he knew he was in the twilight of his career, but he saw something in us, and we saw someone who would instill in us the will to win, and more importantly, what to learn after a loss. Someone to guide us to adversity, and how to summon that extra push when your tank was on empty. Someone to be the first to stand up for your teammates, and why sacrifice spoke volumes. And someone to steer us through every obstacle if we were ever going to reach the top of the mountain. On June 7, 2004, for nearly all of us, we hoisted the Stanley Cup for the first time in our lives. 20 years later, looking back on it, on what we accomplished, how we turned this town into Hockey Bay, USA, and what the legacy of the first championship means to this franchise and its fans, I'm so proud to have been a part of it. It was a moment frozen in time that we'll always cherish for the rest of our lives. None more so than for the first person to raise the Stanley Cup in Tampa Bay. Dave, on behalf of all of us who walk together forever, thank you for showing us the way and welcome to the Lightning Hall of Fame.